Welcome to episode 38 of our Comfy UI tutorial series. Today, I will show you how to make an avatar talk by using a photo and an audio file to create an animation like the one you see now. I just want to warn you from the beginning that this might use a lot of video memory, so it might not work if you don't have a powerful NVIDIA card. To make it easier for you, you can download the workflows from Discord for free. Check the video description on the server, make sure to enable show all channels so all the channels appear, and then go to the Pixaroma workflows channel. Here, the workflows are organized by episode. So if you click on episode 38, you will see all the workflows once I finish the video and add them. For example, if I go to episode 37, you can scroll through that post and see all the information. The workflows will have a small download button. Once you download them, you can continue with the next step. Open Comfy UI, go to the workflow menu, and choose Open. Now you can try any of those three workflows. For example, let's start with the portrait one. You will see all the missing nodes that need to be installed. Close this. I added everything you need to get started on the left. It will take a while to install everything it needs. I've only tested this on an RTX 4090, and the memory usage showed it needed about 20 GB when I ran this. Uh, so I'm not sure if it will work on a smaller card. If you still want to continue, here are the steps. Install these nodes from the manager. A fast way is to go to the manager, then install missing custom nodes and install all of them from there. However, it happened to me a few months ago with a node that installed a different node, which had conflicts with the one I needed. So since then, I prefer to install them manually. Go to the Custom Nodes Manager, search for Comfy UI Sonic, and use the Install button to install it. Wait for it to finish, then install the Video Helper node. Mine is already installed, and you should have it if you followed my other episodes. You also need easy use. And the last one is the WAS node. If Comfy UI is updated, you can just click Restart. If not, click back and choose Update All. Wait for it to finish, then click Restart, and wait for confirmation. Click confirm and then click the reload button. Now you should not see any red warning when you open the workflow. You have the nodes, but now you need a few models. So go back to the node and let's move to step two. In the models folder, you should have a Sonic folder. If you don't have it, create one. Inside this folder, you need to place four models. If you hover over the model's name, you'll see a little hand. Click on it, and a Google Drive link will open with the models. I'm not sure why the node creator didn't add the models to Hugging Face, but I'll work with what I have. I'll start with the audio bucket model. On the right, you'll see a download button, and you'll get a warning from Google saying it can't scan for viruses because the file is too large. I click Download Anyway. I scanned it with Bitdefender Antivirus, and I didn't get any warnings. I go to the Models folder, find the Sonic folder, and place that model inside. Next, there are two more models, the audio token and the UNet model. I'll download both of those as well and place them in the same Sonic folder. Afterward, there's another model, the YOLO face model. You can find it here. Again, click download and place it in the same Sonic folder. Now inside the Sonic folder, we need to create another folder with this exact name, in caps, RIFE, or it won't work. Download the FlowNet model, create the RIFE folder, and place the model inside. Next, we need three more files in a different folder called WhisperTiny. You'll need this config file, click download, then go back to the Sonic folder and create a folder named exactly like this. Whisper, followed by a line, and then Tiny. Go inside and place the config file there. Do the same for the model safe tensor file. And the last one is the preprocessor config file. Finally, the last model is one of these two video diffusion models. One model is larger and one is smaller. I will use the smaller one, which has the number one in the name. You need to place that in the checkpoints folder, but you'll need to follow some steps to get that model. So let's go to the models page. Once you land on the hugging face page for that model, you'll need to log in or sign up if you don't have an account. After that, 
the button will say expand to review and access. Click on it, read the license, and at the bottom, you'll need to enter your name, email address, and then check the box to accept the license. When you're ready, hit submit. Now, since I've already accepted the license and am logged in, I get direct access to the models. What we need is the stable video diffusion model. Click the download button, go back to the models folder, and place it in the checkpoints folder. I know, a lot of models, but I hope I've made it easier for you. Now, after you download everything, the Sonic folder should look like this. You'll have these four models in two folders. The Rife folder will have the FlowNet model inside, and the WhisperTiny folder will have two files and a model. Now that the models are downloaded, we can test the workflow since we have everything we need. First, we load an image using this load image node. This works best with people, preferably a front view and a close-up image. For example, I have this image of a man here. You can see that the lips are clear and the human face is well-defined, so we can do lip syncing. We also need an audio file, something that contains words, like a talking man or a song. Once you load the audio, it will show you how many seconds it has. In my case, it has four seconds and sounds like this. Let me tell you something about what it means to be an AI-generated man. Then we decide on the length of the video. I usually set the video length to match the length of the audio. So for duration, I add four seconds since I have a four-second audio file. I also want the video resolution limited to 576 pixels. I'll explain that in a minute, but the expand ratio is something you can try at 0.5 or 1. I think it adjusts how much the image moves beyond the lips. From the sonic sampler, I adjust the frames per second to 25 because the model was trained on that frame rate. This will ensure the same frame rate is used in the video combine node. Those are the key settings you need. But let's clarify a few things. The recommended sizes are as follows for landscape, portrait, and square, around 1024 by 576 px. So, in the upload node, I like to use the exact same size. However, just in case you upload a bigger image, I added an image resize node to ensure it gets resized to the recommended dimensions. If you upload an image with a different aspect ratio, you can adjust the width and height here. When you run the workflow, you will see a preview of that here. For example, if I want to make the image landscape, I simply reverse the values here. And if I want a square image, I set both values to 576. But for this example, let's keep it in portrait mode. So why did I choose those sizes? If you go to the stable video diffusion model page and look at the model card, you can scroll down to see the sizes it was trained on and the frame rate. These are usually the best values to use because they match the ones the model was trained with. We have three sonic nodes, which I've colored in yellow so you can easily spot them. If you double click on the canvas and search for sonic, you can find all three nodes there. Sonic loader node. This loads the sonic model, which generates lip sync animations. When I clicked on it, it said none because my comfy UI was open. So what do we do in that case? We go to edit and select refresh node definition. Now I can see all the models, so I can select the UNet model. Audio scale. This controls the audio's influence on lip movement. Use inner frame if it's set to true, it ensures smooth motion. Sonic Predata node. This node prepares the input data, image, and audio for sonic processing. Here are the settings for this node. Min resolution, 576. Duration should match the audio duration. Expand ratio, adjust how much the image moves beyond the lips. Next, we use the image only checkpoint loader for the stable video diffusion model. If you downloaded the larger model, you load it here. There's also a clear VRAM node, which helps free up video memory during the workflow to prevent crashes or slowdowns. Then we have the sonic sampler, which is similar to the K sampler. Here we have the seed, which can be set to fixed, random, and so on. Inference steps defines how many iterations the model should take when generating each frame. Dynamic scale controls the scaling of movements. Increasing this could make the movements more exaggerated, while decreasing, it makes them more subtle. Frame per seconds 
works well at 25. The final node is the video combined node. This node merges the generated images into a video file with audio. I have set the format to H.264. The frame rate should be taken automatically from the sonic sampler, but I'm not sure why it shows both input and the text box. But enough theory. I know this might have been boring for some of you, but it helps to understand what's going on. Now, you run the workflow by pressing the Q button. Each node should turn green, indicating it's working. If it doesn't work, you've probably messed up something, maybe a node, a folder name, or if it crashes, it could be because you don't have enough video memory to run it. You can see here a progress slider, and so far everything is working fine with no errors. If I open the task manager, you can see how much memory it's using between 20 22 gigabytes. This four second video was finished on the first run in 197 seconds, which is around three minutes. The good part is that you can create longer videos unlike other models that have a limit of five, 10 seconds. Now, here's the result. And if you wanna hear the audio, you need to mouse over the video. Let me tell you something about what it means to be an AI generated man. Let's go to the workflow menu and load another one. Let's load the landscape workflow. It's the same workflow, just arrange and with settings for landscape. For the image, I loaded this portrait of a woman. I used the voice of the woman. I tested it with shorter audio, but you can use longer audio. The longest I've tested so far is 38 seconds. Make sure you set the duration here to match the audio. If it's shorter, it will trim the audio and only play the first part. Then you can run it. And the result is this. Look at me. I can talk. How cool is that? Yuppie. For the last workflow, let me open it really quick. I used a square ratio, so load a square image like I did with this cartoon man. Load your audio, and the longer it is, the more time it will take to generate. This one only has three seconds, so I am changing the duration here as well. Then I can run the workflow, and the result is this one. Hello, what are you looking at? Haven't seen a cartoon character before. So how should you approach a project? First, generate an image for what you have in mind. Then you can use Eleven Labs to generate a voice or Suno AI to generate a song. Depending on the ratio you want, if you plan to make shorts or reels, you can go with portrait mode, which is a 916 ratio. So load an image with that ratio if you don't want it to be distorted like I did with this man. Next, load the audio file. I'll use a short singing voice I made with Suno AI and then trim the audio to be only 16 seconds. I adjust the duration of the video to match the audio. After that, I can run the workflow, and here's the result. I step into the room, lights glow on the screen. A face appears so sharp, so clean. No wires, no limits, just words in the air. You speak, I listen, I'm already there. Of course, it's not perfect. If the face is too small and not close enough, or if the mouth is not clear, you can see how the mouth can get distorted. The animation works better when the subject is up close. So the further the face is from the camera, the less accurate the lip syncing will be. So try to generate close-up images of people or cartoon human characters for better results. Yes, I am a talking goat. So what? Everything is possible with AI these days. Keep in mind that you need a human face for the model to recognize the face. I tried with a goat and didn't work, but with a human face goat character like me, it worked. So do human characters instead. Bah. I know not many of you have an RTX 4090 card to be able to run this, but if you still want to try it in the cloud, I've added the workflow on the Running Hub website. I'll add a link in the description. You can read the description here, see what nodes it has, and then just click on Launch on Cloud. Wait for it to load and zoom in. First, you need an image. Try to use a 16-9 ratio, portrait, landscape, or square image. I will go with this portrait of a man. Then, upload the audio file, the longer the audio, the more time it will take to generate. I will go with four seconds in this case. I'll change the duration of the video to match the audio, so four seconds. 
Next, depending on what image you have uploaded, adjust the width and height in the image resize node to one of these three sizes, which I've added in the note. Then you can use the run button to run the workflow. It will start generating and you can see the time here. You can cancel any time by clicking the cancel button. For example, um, I previously generated a 30 second video that took 20 minutes. Below that, I generated a four second video that took three minutes and 26 seconds. For this four second video I just did, it took three minutes and 18 seconds and it cost me 48 coins. Considering that with a $10 subscription, I get 50,000 coins, I can make a lot of videos. You can use the download button to save the video in MP4 format. To hear the sound, you need to move the mouse over the video in the video helper node. And here's the result. Let me tell you something about what it means to be an AI generated man. If you found something useful, help this channel by leaving a like and a comment. Thank you all for your support to all the legends, VIPs, and other members who support this through membership. Have a great day, and I will see you on Discord. Step in the server, we build, we create. Comfy UI got me shifting the state. Comfy UI, learning the tools, we level up fast. Sharing the knowledge, make moments that last. Daily challenges, flexing the mind. AI's the canvas, the art's redesigned. No need to rush, we vibe, we grow. Picture Roma, fam, let the energy flow. Picture Roma.